Tell us. Where was I going with this? He 
wipes his hands on his sweater and pulls his attendant down to his ear now. Hello? His best friend, Adam Clayman, is on the other end. Barrett? Adam? <laughs> you believe this cap? I can't believe it. I'll pick you up. Barrett sticks his finger in a sharpener. Buzzing as his finger is sharpened, he tests the sharpness with his finger. Bing. Looking sharp. Barry, up and down the hall, sliding down the staircase, minister Barry's mother, Janet Vincent, is in the kitchen. Barry, why don't you use the sears? Your father paid good money for those. Alright, uh, another page. Sorry, I'm excited. Barry's father, Martin Vincent, is reading a newspaper with a headline, Green gives birth a thousand tuplets, resting comfortably. Here's a graduate. We're very proud of you, son, and all the perfect report card, all be. They're proud. Mom, <laughs> I've got a thing going on here. Barry readjusts his hair and starts to leave. You've got some lint on your clothes. She picks it off. Ow, that's me. Wait, Dustin, we'll, we'll be in row 118,000. Barry zips off. Bye. Barry, I told you, stop playing in the house. Driving graduation, B summer, morning, the garage door opens. Barry drives out in his car. Angle on Barry's friend, Adam Flaming, standing on the curb. He's reading a newspaper with a headline. Frisbee hits high, then ran that down. B stander, I heard a sound, and next thing I knew, whammo! Barry drives up, stops in front of Adam, and Adam jumps in. Hey, Adam. Hey, Barry, is that fellas jail? That's what I finally graduated. I Yeah, three days of grade school. Three days of high school. Those were so awkward. Three days of college. I'm glad I took off one day in the middle and just hitchhiked around the high. You did come back different. They drive by me, you drive it. Hi, Barry. Hi, Artie. Growing a mustache? Looks good. Barry, I'm driving with Discovery in the city. Hey, did you hear about Frankie? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> you going to a studio? No, I'm not going to a studio. Everybody knows you sing someone to die. Yo, Frankie, it's not a squirrel. You sing a pocket. Yeah, I guess you could have just gotten out of the way. They drive through a loop to loop. Whee! <laughs> Quite a bit of pomp under this circumstance. They land in their seats. Well, Adam, today we are men. We are. No, wait. Okay. <laughs> Be men. Amen. Adam. Barry hits out his forehead. Adam gets on the laptop. And an announcement comes over the VA. Student faculty, distinguished bees, please welcome Dean Buswell. Angle on Dean Buswell stepped up to the podium. The podium has a sign that reads, Welcome graduating class of the train station like style flipping numbers after it. Welcome to Hop City graduating class of. The numbers on the podium change to 915. 915. He clears his throat. And that concludes our graduation ceremony. So begin your career at our next day. Are we going to check our jobs today? I heard it's just orientation. The rows of chairs change to transformer like mechanical motion to Universal Studios type torch ramps. Buzzwell walks off stage. Whoa, heads up, here we go. Uh, uh factories. Keep your hand and the tables inside the tram at all times. Dijon, la manos, y atrados, and don't cry. Perfect question to start on Earth. 
They walk by newspaper stand with a sandwich board reading Beat goes berserk, sting seven, didn't sell. Angle on a beat, filling his car's gas tank from Honeycomb. He fills his car something, takes his way for himself. Hey! Barry and Adam get across the street. Oh! Yeah, but Adam, did you ever think that we, maybe, that maybe things run a little too well around here? They stop in the middle of the street. The traffic is perfectly around them. Like what? Give me one example. I don't know, but you know what I'm talking about. They walk off. Meet the drops. The sound of pollen shots. Hand down from the Honic statue. Please clear the gate. Royal Nectar Force on approach. Royal Nectar Force on approach. Wait a second. Check it out. Hey, hey. Those are pollen jobs. Uh, <laughs> Four patrol bees flying through the hive. Got the giant gothic entrance. The patrol bees are wearing fighter pilot helmets with black visors. I've never seen them this close. They know what it's like to go outside the hive. Yeah, but some of them don't know that. The nectar from the pollen jobs is removed from the backpacks and loaded into trucks on their way to Honnets. A small crowd forms around the patrol bees. Each one has a bit through that takes their nectar. Lou Laduca hurries a bit through along. You guys are great. You're monsters. You're skyfix. I love it. I love it. Cool girl. <laughs> Where those guys have just been. I don't know. Their day's not planned. Outside the high flag. Who knows where? Doing who knows what? You can't decide what day to be a pollen shock. You have to be brand for that. Right. Pollen crossing close proximity to Barry and Adam. Pollen falls off onto Barry and Adam. Look at that. That's more pollen than you and I or you and I will ever see in a lifetime. It's just a status symbol. I think we need to make a big deal of it. Perhaps you're wearing it. And the ladies see you wearing it. Angle on two girl beats. Those ladies? Aren't they our cousins too? This difference. <laughs> Look at these two. Couple of pies here. Let's have some fun with them. The pollen jocks approach. Barry and Adam continue to talk to the girl. It must be so dangerous being a pollen jock. Oh yeah, one time a bear had me pinned against a mushroom. One <laughs> <laughs> paw my throat with the other and he was slapping me back and forth across the face. Oh, I never thought I'd knock him out. And what were you doing during all this? Obviously I was trying to alert the authorities. The girl swiped the pollen off of Adam with a finger. I can autograph for the, that for you if you want. A little gusty out there today, wasn't it, comrades? Yeah, gusty. Uh, you know, we're going to hit a sunflower patch about six miles from the, from here tomorrow. Six miles, huh? Alright. It's a, it's a puddle, it's a puddle joke for us. Or maybe you're, you're not up for it. Maybe uh, I am. You are not! We're <laughs> <laughs> going 0900 at J-Gate. Whoa. Whoa, what do you think, Buzz Boy? Are you being up? <laughs> 